This guide is a workaround that will show you how to get Palette Master Element 1.3.17 running on a new Macintosh computer. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. If you have purchased a new Mac and you have a BenQ SUV display, you may have downloaded the latest version for Palette Master Element 1.3.17. And when you try to run the program, similar to what I'm about to show you now, you will get something like this. It will ask you first, because this program is downloaded from the internet, do I want to run it? I will say open. And in the dock, you will see Palette Master Element bouncing. It's going to bounce a few times. However, what's going to do is that the program won't launch and you will get a dialogue saying that Palette Master Element unexpectedly quit. This is happening because chances are your computer is running on Mac OS Monterey 12.3 or 12.3.1. There are some underlying changes in the system code with these operating system in general that SIF Software Integrity Protection is preventing Palette Master Element, this specific version, from running properly. I'm going to ignore this for now. So the way how to get around this, as I have mentioned earlier, is to go to BenQ website and download their archive version of 1.3.15, which they now provide a download link for all these different versions, make it super convenient for you to really go in and download a previous version that you know to work on the system. So what we can do is run 1.3.15. So I'm going to unpack that. Copy this into the application folder. We're going to replace it. And I'll try to run this now. It's going to ask me again, saying that this is an app download from the internet. I will say OK. And with this, you'll see it bouncing a few times. However, this palette master element will run and launch just fine. The great thing about version 1.3.15, not only does it run in your system and you can calibrate your display with it. However, if you download the latest version and install it on top of 1.3.15, it will also enable that version to run, meaning that Mac OS System Integrity Protection or SIP is not going to stop the program from running, which is a great thing. So this is version 1.3.15 and I can go and calibrate the display using this version. And it's also asking me to upgrade because there is a new version out. I'm going to say no for now and I will quit Palette Master Element. What I'm going to do is open the package for the 1.3.17. And what I'm simply going to do is drag this over to application. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I will say yes, replace. Let's close this out. And now let's try to run Palette Master Element. This is version 1.3.17 that won't launch earlier. So now what I can do, it's going to ask me if this app has been downloaded from the internet. I'm going to say yes, I want this to open. And you will see Palette Master Element 1.3.17 launching on the desktop in just a moment. So there you have it, a workaround to getting the latest Palette Master Element 1.3.17 running on your system. I have calibrated the display using this version on the system. It works just fine without any issues whatsoever. And in fact, I think this version does a much better job with calibration and also color accuracy compared to 1.3.15. So if you have a new Mac computer and you want to get the latest Palette Master Element version running, Start with 1.3.15, launch it to make sure that it runs. And then afterwards, what you want to do is download 1.3.17 and just install it on top of that version and it will run just fine. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions or comment, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe and hit on the bell you're new and you're not retrust. Really